Pulam Heather from Kherpura, Karachi, Pakistan had two valid passports. Number HZ Hotel Zulu 000 -4421 and HZ 000 -4422. There is an alleged discrepancy in her stated age, 27 years as she says, and date of birth on her passport, 1-1-2002, which would mean she is about 21 years old. There is also no clarity on who owned the property that she is alleged to have sold off in Karachi. Her husband, Ghulam Heather, is apparently unaware of any property sold. What documents did she show to enter India from Nepal? Any Indian citizen would need to show either an Indian passport or an Aadhaar card or a driving license, an Indian driving license. What did she show? Sachin and his father are also in trouble for helping a Pakistani citizen enter India illegally and then hiding her in Greater Noida. Arvind Ojha and our Crime Bureau bring you our top story. Sensational new revelations in Pakistani woman Seema Ghulam Heather investigations. The Uttar Pradesh Police Anti-Terror Squad is currently cross-examining Seema Heather on her multiple passports and alleged discrepancies in her date of birth in the passport. Seema Heather's national identity card was issued only 10 months ago in September 2022. The Uttar Pradesh Police ATS has been interrogating Seema Heather, her lover Sachin and his father for the past two days now. Authorities have also questioned when and how Seema met Sachin and whether the two actually met playing PUBG video games. The mobile phone and number used by Seema, her social media accounts, her WhatsApp chats are also under scrutiny. She had apparently deleted all her WhatsApp chats before her arrival in India. The ATS is also seeking details of the property reportedly sold by Seema Heather in Karachi, Pakistan and the details of the temple where Seema Heather and Sachin Meena got married. Seema was asked why she got her Pakistani identity card only in September 2022 when such documents are made available months after birth. Police sources say Seema's answers appear misleading. She has been unable to explain what identity papers were shown to cross over from Nepal into India. An Indian national is supposed to show either an Aadhaar card or an Indian passport. There are also several unanswered questions. She comes from a small neighborhood in Karachi, Pakistan, but holds not one but two passports. She took a bus from Pokhara in Nepal to Uttar Pradesh and reached Greater Noida without explaining what identity papers were shown. This is also being seen as a major failure of the Sashastra Seema Bal, the border guarding force. Seema collected all her travel documents and identity papers but did not bring even one of the multiple mobile phones and numbers she used in Pakistan. Even from Nepal, she made multiple WhatsApp calls but using hotspots taken from other people's mobile phones. She was also reportedly in possession of a laptop in Pakistan but did not have one when she came to India. There are several unanswered questions, especially about the sale of property in Pakistan, the funds generated, the documentation in Dubai and the flight to Kathmandu. Police now intend to send the documents to Pakistan High Commission through the Ministry of External Affairs for verification. With Arvind Ojha in Greater Noida, Bureau Report, India Today.